Now, the wildfires wiped out nearly every home at the Journeys End Mobile Home Park in Santa Rosa. You can see here Drone, drone View 7 captured the damage left behind shortly after the fire. ABC 7 News reporter Wayne Friedman continues our live team coverage with an update on the people who once called this park home. Wayne. Good evening, Deanne. This is a bit of a, of a sad story. Behind me, you see what's left of that mobile home park. And all that vacant space, that was occupied by homes. In the distance behind me, you see the homes that survived. The people who lived there thought at the time they'd been spared. Now, they're not so sure. When the bathtub serves as a kitchen sink, it's a far cry from home sweet home. But at the Sandman Hotel in Santa Rosa, eight fire survivors know the routine all too well. For John Trillia and his dog Sophie, this is what temporary housing looks and feels like. My grandmother used to say, a place for everything and everything in its place. Well, here there's no place for anything. John used to live in the Journey's End Mobile Home Park, where the Tubbs fire killed two, burned 120 mobile homes, and left 44 of them still standing. They are condemned and without insurance will be prohibitively expensive to move. That applies to John and also to his neighbor, Michelle Trammell, who lived in a unit owned by her mother, Rachel, who has a broken hip and emphysema. No water, no electricity. And they just turned the sewer off. I just want this to be over with. You might call this a form of limbo. Their former landlord at Journey's End has given up the place. A developer is moving in with plans for low-income housing, but they'll take a while, possibly too long, for a 91-year-old retired mailman. People say, where do you live? And uh, where do I live? I'm, I'm, I'm in a motel, but I'm not really living. He is hoping, however. You see that mobile home on the computer screen? John may get a loan from a friend to buy it. He should know in a couple of weeks. I will not believe it until I have keys in my hand. And his nightmare ends. In Santa Rosa, Wayne Friedman, ABC 7 News.